What's good fam, it's your boy Gels, and I'm back with another video. In this video, we're gonna talk about Studio One templates. Let's go! Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about Studio One templates. We're gonna focus on basics, in templates, we're not going to go too far into it. We're simply going to set up all of our channels, set up effects channels, set up buses, etc., etc. Well, let's dive into the computer and figure this out. Okay, now that we're in Studio One, we're going to start building this template. This template is not going to have any plugins or anything like that on it. It's simply going to be the effects channels and the buses that I use when starting a mix. So to start adding effects channels, we're going to right click on the mixer and just click add effects. I'm going to add eight effects channels because those are the effects that I use. For Studio One, I wish you could select how many effects channels you wanna add. So let's go ahead and add these eight. And the click in your ear is my uh, fader port eight. Um, activating the tracks as I go so there's the eight let's color code these bad boys let's go with purple let's name each one I'm gonna go in order of the effects I use first I'll start with a hall verb then I'll use a doubler Then I'll use a long delay. Then I'll use some sort of a big verb, like a big and bright, bright uh, reverb. Then I'll use a chorus verb effect. <laughs> Sorry for that. Then I'll use a wide verb effect. Then I'll go into an exciter. Then I'll go into some sort of a saturation plugin. And that's pretty much all for my effects. Again, I'll go into these a little more on the next video, but I just want to teach you guys how to do a basic template. Now let's go into some of my buses. First, I'll start with three buses, and I'll explain these as, I'll make, as I make them. Okay, these three buses I use strictly for processing vocals. This first bus is going to be my pre-lead. This next bus is going to be my pre-double. And this last bus is going to be my pre-ad-lib. And on these three buses is where I do mainly all of my vocal processing. I don't do it on individual tracks. I get everything gain stage the way I need it to be. Then I route it to these three buses and I do... 90% of my processing out of these three buses when it comes to my vocals. Sometimes certain vocals do require a little more attention, so I'll do that on the individual track. But for the most part, I do all of my vocal processing in three, these three buses. So let's color, color code these as well. Let's make these yellow. Okay, now... I'm gonna create three more buses that I'm gonna use for my drums or my beat, my bass in 808, my strings, my melody, my effects, my lead vocals, my double vocals, and my harmonies and ad-libs. So let's get that going. That's gonna be eight more buses. <laughs> Let's 
So now that we created the buses, let's start naming them. This one's going to be my drum bus. Slash beat. And I call it slash beat because sometimes I don't get track outs for beats. I only get the MP3 or the wave. So I'll also add it on this bus. So my next is my bass. Slash 808. My next is my strings. Next one is my melody. Next is my FX. Next is the lead vox. Next is the double vox. And vox, by, by vox I mean vocals. Next is, the last one is my harmony. Slash ad lib. And again, in this section, this is where I do a little processing as well and I control all of my volume on my final mix. If the beat needs to be a little bit louder, I'll do it from here. I normally start, when I'm starting to mix, I normally start all of these at like negative 20. Around that range, uh, let's just stick with 22.9 right now. Uh, let me color code these while we're at it. Hmm. We'll get to the color. So like when I want to, hold on, let me color code these. Sorry about that. My computer's acting crazy. Okay, so like when I want to, I don't know why it won't let me color code. Uh, just must be acting funky with the screen recording software. I apologize for that. But like I said, I use these when I'm controlling my the mat was hitting my master bus, which is here. So let's say I need a little bit more beat or bass or my drums turned up a little bit. I'll use these faders, cut the strings down, melody up, vo FX down, Vox up, et cetera, et cetera. And let me expand this just a little bit to, the sh to show you how I do it. So in order to use these here, these FX channels, all you have to do is click on this plus sign and it'll add the FX channels. You can select what FX channels you want to use. Um, and that's pretty much it, man. It, the process to create a template is pretty simple. You don't have to, it's not a lot to do, but I definitely recommend using a template when starting out. Um, any mix or any recording just to speed line your process make your make your process more streamlined and faster and to save this all you simply have to do is hit file and save as template and just name it as your template I'm going to call this basic template basic T and that's it I just saved that as a template if any of you guys are interested in this template, um, it'll be in the description below. Just click on the link. Again, this is a basic template. And on the next video, we'll get into adding plugins and stuff like that. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's go. Okay. As you saw, creating a template is not as difficult as you thought, but it is vital in the mixing and recording process. It'll definitely streamline your workflow. If you have any questions about Studio One or need help with any mixing or mastering, be sure to reach out to me in the email below in the description. Hey, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. It's your boy Jails, baby. I'm gone.